high volatility in Con Mining Incorporated stock price on Friday which ended trading at $1.36 updated on January 29, 2021. Buy or hold candidate since January 7, 2021 gained 12.40%. The Com Mining Incorporated stock price gained 11.48% on the last trading day Friday, January 29, 2021, rising from $1.22 to $1.36, and has now gained three days in a row. It will be exciting to see whether it manages to continue gaining or take a minor break for the next few days. During the day the stock fluctuated 18.33% from a day low at $1.20 to a day high of $1.42. The price has fallen in four of the last 10 days, but is still up by 5.43% over the past two weeks. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 2 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 3 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $4.51 million. The stock has broken the wide and strong rising the short-term trend up and an even stronger rate of rising is indicated. For any reaction back there will now be support on the roof on the current trend broken at $1.33, a level that may pose a second chance to hit a runner. According to Fan Theory $1.57 will be the next possible trend top level and thereby pose a resistance level that may not be broken at the first attempt. Signals and Forecast The Com Mining Incorporated stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down. There will be some support from the lines at $1.20 and $1.12. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Wednesday, January 27, 2021, and so far it has risen 21.43%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the 3 months moving average convergence divergence MACD. Support, risk and stop loss on the downside. The stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $1.24 and $1.21. There is natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, Com Mining Incorporated finds support just below today's level at $1.24. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $1.21 and $1.08. The stock has average movements during a day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved 22 cents between high and low, or 18.33%. For the last week, the stock has had a daily average volatility of 11.18%. Our recommended stop loss, $1.31 minus 3.68%. The stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found two days ago. Is Comstock Mining Incorporated stock a buy? Com Mining Incorporated holds several positive signals and has broken the strong rising trend up. As the stock is also in great technical shape we, therefore, consider it to be a good choice at these current levels and we are expecting further gains during the next three months. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a buy candidate to a strong buy candidate candidate. Current score, 8.108 predicted opening price for Comstock Mining Incorporated of Monday, February 1, 2021. The predicted opening price is based on yesterday's movements between high, low, and the closing price. Fair opening price February 1, 2021 current price $1.33 load is overvalued compared to its price of $3.12 per share, has below average safety, and is currently rated a buy. Recommendation REC by REC reflects the cumulative effect of all the vector vest parameters working together.
These parameters are designed to help investors buy safe, undervalued stocks rising in price. Value Current Price $3.12 Current Value $0.89 cents Load has a current value of $0.89 cents per share. Compared to a price of $3.12 per share, the stock is currently overvalued. Value is computed from forecasted earnings per share, forecasted earnings growth, profitability, interest, and inflation rates. Upside Potential Relative Value RV Very Poor RV is an indicator of long-term price appreciation potential. Load has an RV of 0.36, which is very poor on a scale of 0.00 to 2.00. This indicator is far superior to a simple comparison of price and value because it is computed from an analysis of projected price appreciation three years out, AAA corporate bond rates, and risk. Safety relative safety RS poor RS is an indicator of risk. Load has an RS of 0.78, which is poor on a scale of 0.00 to 2.00. RS is computed from an analysis of the consistency and predictability of a company's financial performance, debt-to-equity ratio, sales volume, business longevity, price volatility and other factors. Timing Relative Timing RT Excellent RT analyzes a stock's price trend. Load has a relative timing of 2.00, which is excellent on a scale of 0.00 to 2.00. RT is computed from an analysis of the direction, magnitude, and dynamics of a stock's price movements day over day, week over week, quarter over quarter and year over year. If a trend dissipates, RT will gravitate toward 1.00. Overall Rating Value Safety Timing VST Very Good Vista is the master indicator for ranking every stock in the Vector Vest database. Load has a VST rating of 1.33 which is very good on a scale of 0.00 to 2.00. VST is computed from the square root of a weighted sum of the squares of RV, RS, and RT. Stocks with the highest VST ratings have the best combinations of value, safety and timing. STOP Stop Price Stop Price, $1.64 Stop is an indicator of when to sell a position. Load has a stop of $1.64 per share. A stock stop is computed from a 13-week moving average of its closing prices, and is fine-tuned according to the stock's fundamentals. CI Comfort Index Excellent CI is an indicator which reflects a stock's ability to resist severe and or lengthy price declines. Load has a CI of 1.47, which is excellent on a scale of 0.00 to 2.00. CI is based solely upon a stock's long-term price history. GRT Earnings Growth Rate GRT reflects a company's 1-3 to three year forecasted earnings growth rate in percent per year. Load has a forecasted earnings growth rate of minus 7.00%, which VectorVest considers to be very poor. EPS Earnings Per Share EPS stands for Leading 12 Months Earnings Per Share. Load has a forecasted EPS of minus $0.14 per share. VectorVest determines this forecast from a combination of recent earnings performance and traditional fiscal and or calendar year earnings forecasts. P.E. Price to Earnings Ratio P.E. shows the dollars required to buy $1 of earnings. Load has a P.E. of minus 22.29. The average P.E. of all the stocks in the VectorVest database is 64.61. EY Earnings Yield EY reflects earnings per share as a percent of price. Load has an EY of minus 4.49%. This is below the current average of 1.55% for all the stocks in the VectorVest database. GPE Growth to PE Ratio Load has a GPE rating of minus 0.31. A stock is commonly considered to be undervalued when GPE is greater than 1.00. DIV Dividend Vector Vest reports annual, regular, cash dividends as indicated by the most recent payments. Special distributions, one-time payments, stock dividends, etc., are not generally included in DIV. Load does not pay a dividend. DY Dividend Yield DY reflects dividend per share as a percent of price. Load does not pay a dividend, so it does not have a dividend yield rating. DY equals 100x DIV price.
it is useful to compare dy with ey. If dy is not significantly lower than ey, the dividend payment may be in jeopardy. DS Dividend Safety DS is an indicator of the assurance that regular cash dividends will be declared and paid at current or at higher rates for the foreseeable future. Load does not pay a dividend, so it does not have a dividend safety rating. Stocks with DS values above 75 typically have RS values well above 1.00 and EY levels that are much higher than DYDG Dividend Growth Rate Dividend Growth is a forecasted annual growth rate of a company's dividend based on historical dividend payments and dividend predictability. It is a subtle yet important indicator of a company's financial performance. It also provides some insight into the board's outlook on the company's ability to increase earnings. Load does not pay a dividend, so it does not have a dividend growth rating. YSG YSG Vector YSG is an indicator which combines DY, DS and DG into a single value, and allows direct comparison of all dividend paying stocks in the database. Load does not pay a dividend, so it does not have a YSG rating. Stocks with the highest YSG values have the best combinations of dividend yield, safety and growth. These are the stocks to buy for somewhat above current income and long-term growth. AVGVOL AVGVOL is the 50-day moving average of daily volume as computed by VectorVest. Load has an AVGVOL of 598,569 shares traded per day. Percent Vol Percent Vol reflects the percent change in today's trading volume as compared to the AVGVOL. Percent Vol equals volume. AVGVOL slash AVGVOL 100. Load had a percent vol of 35,788.63% on Monday, February 1, 2021. Percent PRC, load price changed 129.40% from the prior day's closing price. Sales, load has annual sales of zero sales growth. Sales growth is the sales growth rate in percent over the last 12 months. Load has a sales growth of 2.00% per year. This is poor. Sales per share SPS load has annual sales of 1 cent per share. Price to sales ratio PS, load has APS of 537.25. Shares, load has 34 million shares of stock outstanding. Market capitalization, load has a market capitalization of 107 million. Business sector. Load has been assigned to the mining business sector. VectorVest classifies stocks into over 200 industry groups and 40 business sectors. Industry Group Load has been assigned to the mining gold-silver industry group. VectorVest classifies stocks 